pretty big names hit the court today at the Miami Open. But one of the game's best players had to withdraw from the tournament. CBS 4 sports anchor Jim Barry is live in Key Biscayne with today's action. Hey, Jim. Hey, Ruta Bay. The big crowd here at the Miami Open has a big disappointment because Roger Federer forced to withdraw because of a stomach virus. A lot of fans here were coming out just to see Roger. He was the star attraction today. So when he withdrew, everybody said a collective, Oh, shucks. But the show must go on. Federer, of course, had planned to return to the court for the first time in seven weeks. He had minor knee surgery. Federer wasn't sure how well he'd be able to play after that, but he didn't play at all. So instead of playing Juan Martin Del Potro, he doesn't play at all. Del Potro, who has been plagued by wrist problems, decided to play anyway against a lucky loser named Horacio Ceballos, who lost in qualifying but hung around. Good thing that he did because the Bios actually beat Del Potro, so he is on to the next run after thinking that he might be going home early. As for Federer's withdrawal, understandably, all of his fans around here at Key Biscayne, very bummed out. Roger Federer didn't play today. You bummed out? Very bummed. Tell me why. I came here to watch him. I'm a huge fan, and it's just sad that I don't even know who I'm going to watch anymore. He is still the most beautiful tennis player in terms of his what he does on the court that, that the men have out there right now. So, Plus, at age 34, he's still the second or third best player in the world. So for those of us who are like twice that old, <laughs> he's an inspiration. <laughs> Indeed, he is. Roger Federer, 34 years young, still looks like he may have another Grand Slam or two in him, but he won't get the tune-up here in Miami that he thought he would. The crowd, of course, still will be treated to some great tennis. Venus Williams on the court right now tonight. Novak Djokovic and Victoria Azarenka. So the fans still will see plenty of big names here on Key Biscayne. Live at the Miami Open, I'm Jim Barry, CBS 4 Sports. Jim, before you go, he's not playing because of the stomach virus, but didn't uh, Roger Federer also hurt himself giving his little girls a bath or something oh, yes. like that? He did. As a matter of fact, he said he'd done that move a million times. He turned one direction and he heard a little click in his knee. And he said, uh-oh. Turns out he had a torn meniscus, so he had to have arthroscopic knee surgery. So it's dangerous giving your child a bath. I guess that's the story there. I don't know. <laughs> and that's a valuable <laughs> knee. <laughs> sure is. Thank you, Jim. Uh, indeed it is. Uh, Jim, thanks a lot. All righty.